Hassan has been kind enough to join us this morning to chat about a few things about his technique. But first of all, let me shake your hand, number 28. I thank mean, you. that's pretty special for you, I'm sure. Yeah, thank you. Um, it's always nice to get some runs easy. So, yeah, just very happy. We're going to show you going to your 100. We're going to talk about some of the shots you do play and, and your sure. hallmarks. But well, that was certainly one of them, playing a bit late. <laughs> but we'll come to something uh, more. But we'll come to a graphic shortly, which shows you've now gone above Graham Smith. And mm -hmm. you're some way, of course, away from Jacques, who's his record's just been mm -hmm. extraordinary. The boy's certainly appreciating it there. But throughout your career, I mean, you've been so steady. I mean, just such a class act. Mm -hmm. To get to number 28, I mean, how important is that for you? And what are, your, what are your aims? What are you thinking yeah. going forward? I don't think it's that important, uh, to be very honest with you. Um, as long as I'm enjoying the game, um, obviously runs is probably the most important thing. So just to contribute to some team success, get the runs whenever you can. Um, you know, through a career, it's, um, you go through ups and downs. And just whenever you get the opportunity to just get some runs, that's why you quite appreciate it. And what about this number? What about the the, the forty the forty the forty nine point nine eight? Mm. I mean, come on, tick it over to get the fifty. <laughs> I wish it was that easy to uh, to score the runs. You know, as I said, Test cricket is it's always been tough. Um, so I just hope to to get some runs, man. You know, we've got a good season coming up. Yeah, tough we've season. Got a very very good tough season. Probably some of the best teams in the world coming yep. here, which is very good. Um, and we had, <coughs> excuse me, and we had uh, England in England, which is also a very very yep. good and challenging series. So this. What's it? Call it uh, this year from starting from June, July this year to June, July next year. Also, it's going to be quite a, a challenging, good series for, for all of us. I want to have a closer look at your technique. We know that you have the trigger movement, mm. and sometimes you just just tweak with that a little bit. Why do you tweak with that from time to time? Um, sometimes it's just on the day what happens. <laughs> so it's, sometimes you don't go in with a specific plan. I mean, uh, I'm into my players batting in the yeah. box at the moment. You simplify it by staying inside that box. Yeah, I try not to, to go too much. Um, early in my career, you kind of get caught up in in getting coached that you need a big foot movement to get to the pitch of the ball. Yep. Um, I mean, the classic one I always laugh is they they put the ball down and hit a big straight drive with a big with a big. Uh, but a big foot movement, which in reality in success cricket, very seldom do you hit a straight drive with a, with a big foot movement. Correct. There's not enough time no, when guys are bowling at, uh, at good pace. So you just have to work that out for yourself. Um, and this is kind of the way I've tried to, to be consistent as I can in my, in my own technique. Um, playing within my strength and every every batter has different strengths and they've got to find it and not being too excessive with any of your any of your movements and, and balance mm. is key I mean for any youngsters watching this yeah. I guess your game is all about balance and having a bit more time yeah the the less movement sometimes gives you a little bit more time uh, to to use your hands and and if your head's in a good position then you can hopefully uh, play an attacking shot and a defensive shot so uh, yeah, as I said, over the career you kind of work things out and, and tweaks happen sometimes uh, uh, unknowingly yep. um, uh, for the better and sometimes for the worse and you've got to keep, I mean you've got to have some coaches that you trust to who know your game uh, from the start or even from uh, you know, a considerably long part of your career to be able to, to keep a watch. And, and assist you whenever you need. So you've got one person in particular you, you, yeah, you go to of, outside a, the... A couple of guys uh, yep. inside and outside that right. uh, just have a have a check, you know. Uh, a lot of the time it's not, it's not technically, uh, it's not a technical thing if you don't score runs. Sometimes it's just how the game goes. Yep. Um, you can't score runs all the time, although you would love to and desire to. Um, so, and but technically, you just have a have a watch out, and obviously mentally, you need to try to be as fresh as possible in the, in your game plan. I mean, this is such an important part of your game. How do you excel mm. at playing so late, and, and, and uh, later than most other guys? Let's well, be I don't know. I don't know if it's later than other guys. I mean, it, uh, when I practice, I try and practice playing late, because um, that I feel gives me a bit more time. Um, and because I don't have a lot of uh, forward or back movements, uh, it allows me to maybe just play in that in that zone. Right. But I try and practice it, and without practice, it's not going to happen. It's not you're just trying to uh, play, in, trying to be able to play late when you don't practice it. I mean, that's a big uh, part of of uh, professional sport is you got to practice as as well as you can, prepare as well as you can, and then hopefully during a game, things fall into place. I need you to explain this one for me. What, what, what's this deal, Hashim? What happened here? Great catch, by the way. <laughs> All right. We, the, you know the wicket was keeping quite low. Yep. So we were always debating, should we come up? 
<laughs> What's it? Tell me about that. What's going on there? <laughs> I don't know what to say. Yeah, but anyway, so I'm just gonna freeze. I, th- I think he was very happy when <laughs> that uh, we took the catch. Obviously, Mush was one of the one of the um, uh, main batsmen. But we were very close because the wicket was keeping low. And, Clearly, very close. And, and yes. honestly, I was probably just as surprised as you were that I got it. So this, uh, went, this went on for about another minute. I yeah, think. it went on for quite long. I was like, all right, thanks, Bob. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but. <laughs> Um, yeah, no, it was just, as I said, you know, when you get happy, you get happy, you know. <laughs> okay, but thanks for your time. Okay. Appreciate your time in front of the screen. Thanks, and we're only 28 and stuff. Sir. Thanks for the insight. Thank you.